Welcome in everyone by t by excuse me by the time Friday night comes and goes will officially be over halfway through the high school football season in the SAC Carroll controls their destiny as the lone unbeaten team left in the conference but Snyder Dwanger and Homestead remain right on their heels with just one loss but clarity could be had this week as Snyder hosts Homestead and 5A's 8th ranked Saints visit 6A's number 7 Carroll in the locker room's game of the week. Here's Justin Prince to break things down. Yeah, Elijah, you said it. Tomorrow night certainly can go a long way in deciding how things shake out in the SAC by the end of the season. But, you know, there's still four weeks left to be played after tomorrow night. And both Carroll and Dwanger reiterated, there's still a lot of football left to be played. One thing's for certain, though, when these two teams get together, you're usually in for a good ball game. Three of the last five meetings between the Chargers and Saints have been decided by a touchdown or less. And with a shot at the victory bell still on the line, you can bet tomorrow night it's going to be no different. It's always a good battle, you know, regardless of, of the year and the number of returning starters that everybody has. Always a very good battle, and, and many of them have been close. You know, many of them have been, you know, lopsided in, in Dwanger's favor, you know. So, you know, we have to be prepared. You know, they're going to be prepared, and they're going to be a very tough battle. They're a fast, physical team. They're linebackers. They fly to the ball. Um, their D-line's physical, and they got some dudes in their secondary. So their defense is pretty solid all around, but, um, you know, we've got a pretty good scheme for them, and I think that we're going to be able to handle them. We just got to do what we're told. We just got to do our job, you know. Like the little things that we're supposed to do, we got to do that, and then we'll be good. We know they're a well-coached team. They always are. They're a big school. They're, they're a great competition to play. Uh, they have a great defense, even better offense. But we know that if we come in and play our game and work on with the penalties, I think we should be good. We're looking to attack the the passing game and running game all over. We got a lot of offensive weapons with Lee Carter and Stellan and uh, Teddy in the backfield. I'm extremely confident. I love the guys. We got are great. We got a bunch of talent on our team. We just got to put the pieces together and hopefully. We, we win. We know it's middle of the season. We still got a lot to learn. We got a lot to get better at. Um, but we're certainly, uh, you know, gonna gonna give it our best to uh, give ourselves a chance, you know, going forward to uh, to bring the bell back home. So we, we know that's on the line. That's the beauty. You know, week five. Here we go. Playoff atmosphere. Let's go at it like that and and cut it loose and see what happens and see if we give ourselves a chance to keep pursuing the bell. Kickoff here from Charger Stadium is set for 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Looking forward to what is certainly going to be an electric atmosphere for high school football. Make sure you tune in after the game for all your local scores and highlights at 1030 in the locker room. Well, appreciate that, JP. And here's a look at some of the games you'll be able to check out tomorrow night. As always, we'll have all five SEC games, SAC games, including the game of the week, and a big matchup between Homestead and Snyder. You'll also be able to watch Warsaw at Northwood. Some big games in the NEA, including New Haven at Leo and Columbia City at DeKalb. We'll also have 4-0 Adam Central at 3-1 Heritage, as well as Eastside visiting Garrett. All those games and more for you tomorrow night at 10.30. Hope to see you guys then.